Astrophysicists are finding incredible evidence for a Genesis 1 type creator. You got to hear this. Hi, welcome to Overflow Today. I'm Joseph, and we're joined today by Dr. Hugh Ross, who is an astrophysicist, he's a pastor, and he's the president of Reasons to Believe. Dr. Ross, thanks for joining us today. Oh, my distinct pleasure. Dr. Ross, what are a few of the evidences that you have seen that have tended to draw non-believers towards faith in Christ? Well, by looking at the radiation from the cosmic creation event, we can look so far back in time that we're seeing that first moment when light first separated from darkness. What enables us to witness the creation of the universe is looking at what's called the cosmic background radiation, the radiation from the cosmic creation event. So we have telescopes that are able to look uh, so far away, we're actually looking back in time to the very moment that the universe was created. But it's because we're at a unique location in the universe where we can see that very faint energy. And we're also at the one time where light has adequate time to travel and make it to our telescope so that we can see the handiwork of God over the entire history of the universe. But as we look at the polarization of the cosmic background radiation, it literally takes us back to a moment that's 10 to the minus 34 seconds after the cosmic creation event. So we're literally getting within about a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second after God created the universe. That's how close we can get to the beginning by direct observations. And what that tells us at that very early moment is there is an event where God hyperinflated the universe so that the universe can remain thermally connected, that it can be homogeneous and uniform, and those are fundamental requirements for life to exist in the universe. So we can actually see that God was doing things literally at 10 to the minus 34 seconds after the cosmic creation event uh, to engineer the universe in such a way uh, that we could actually observe it much later. It tells us in the Bible that heavens declare the glory of God, the heavens declare the righteousness of God. We now know there's only one place in the universe and only one time in cosmic history where we get to look back in time. And of course, you know, it takes light time to travel to our telescopes. And it's our ability as astronomers to observe the cosmic creation event, to actually directly witness the universe being created, where we get our most powerful and compelling scientific evidences that a God beyond space and time must be responsible for the universe in which we live. Oh, 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 o